Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. You know what I somehow didn't do when I was up over here? I didn't hit the checkpoint thing. Yeah, there's a checkpoint flag up <laughs> How did I not do that? There we go. And yes, I uh... They are actually called checkpoint flags. Did they just... I don't know, they just don't feel like checkpoints. <laughs> So about this thing here, remember that we got a little, little hintsy hint as to that there might be something around these parts us? Well, that's what I'm going to be doing this part. I've decided that I will indeed actually go back to earlier kingdoms and partly clear them out. Because otherwise I'm going to have a ton of stuff to collect <laughs> and I end up going back there anyway. So, <laughs> alright, there we go. We have powered up that Odyssey, and it is ready to go to a new area, but later. <laughs> so, you know, it'll take us back to the map and stuff like that. We can choose to go over to the next kingdom over. Now, remember that we could have gone to the Wooded Kingdom before, but yeah, as I said, if we went to one or the other, we'd have to unlock the other one later, and here we are! <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna go back over to the Cascade Kingdom, because... Well, there's a bunch of stuff post-boss that I can do, so why not? It's a relatively small kingdom, so... I don't see things taking too long. 35 minutes later. <laughs> but let's see how things go. And also, uh, on these little transition phases here. You can skip stuff, but I'm probably not gonna skip too much because you're gonna see little bits of dialogue like in here. Whoever heard of a wedding with a stolen dress? Let's get after that tactless fiend. Seeing as how you've got some time to kill, let's view some useful <laughs> skills. He's like, let's get after him. But you know, we got some time to kill. <laughs> Spin throw and you're surrounded by enemies and just you know, you'll hit them all at once. Snap the Joy-Cons to the side and do a spin throw. Your hat will spin all around you. Well, there it is. And you also see the inside of the ship with all the new collectibles and stuff that I got there as well. Yeah, anyway, we're back. And now, uh, pay close attention as to where Uncle Amiibo and that Toad was, because that was part of the hint of that image. See, there they are right over there. So, it's like this bone structure may very well have to do with something over here. Hmm. Hmm. But the question is, what is it? I kind of forgot, actually. <laughs> it was probably like ground pound near one of the particular areas. I don't really remember all that well. Hold on, I'll just kind of kind of wander around these parts and see. Maybe it's actually ground pound on top of one of these thingajiggers here. Or maybe I'm supposed to feel for a rumble in the ground that I just wasn't feeling when I was zigzagging between them or something? I don't know. I don't know. But there's most certainly something here. I actually went back over to the Lake Kingdom to get another check at that photo because I actually didn't have a picture of it in my albums. <laughs> I went to check back at it and I was like, oh, I, I never took a picture of that. Well. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you here. If you want to check without leaving the game, you go to your album, and then you go to the picture, and you'll notice that the one on the right has one extra bone. See that? See that? Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's your hint. <laughs> it's like a, a spot the differences dealio. So then that means the one that I'm looking for is over there. Yeah, okay, now I understand. <laughs> Found with Lake Kingdom art, baby. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna leave those guys for now and take a flip-flop around these parts here because at the waterfall itself, Oh yeah, there's a shop here, but I'm not gonna not gonna buy that out until I'm uh, totally cleared and whatnot. So there's a uh, over here by the waterfall. It's a timer challenge. It's here after you beat the boss and stuff like that. So it's pretty easy to just kind of do it like this. But you can also skip things by doing those fancy aerial jumps and whatnot. Cascade Kingdom timer challenge one is complete. Uh, and you also notice over. Over here, yes, Mario can swim upstream like a salmon. 
<laughs> there is a moon over here. Oh yeah, treasure of the waterfall basin. So that's taken care of nicely. I think I could have gotten that one earlier. Oh yeah, yeah, there's purple coins under here. Forgot all about these bad boys. And no, there's not. There's actually not a current here to speak of. Like I'm just kind of. See, I'm not touching anything other than just getting my keeping myself afloat there. So Mario isn't really going up upstream or anything like that. Oh, th the painting isn't open yet. Oh, I thought I could have. Uh, well, remember this painting for later. <laughs> well. Yeah, I was thinking about those paintings, and I was like, you know what, maybe when I do come across them, I should just go in them. Just because, you know, it, I, I'm in the area, and that's what people would typically do if they're in the area anyway, so... It just seems to make sense in that regard. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go take a loopsie around here to get myself a dino, because... Up over... Beneath this cliff... Uh... Actually, where... <laughs> Where is the spot that I'm looking for? Oh, there it is. There's Captain Toad up over there, and it's easiest to get when you have a dino. Because you can just jump out of the dino when you're beneath that ledge after using the jump and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and grab our T-Rex friend here, and let's have edits. Yes! Yes! The power! The power! <laughs> gonna use the springy ding here and we're gonna go boink well actually I could have jumped at it from above couldn't I well whatever I'm here <laughs> there are so many rare fossils around here I jump for joy but you know shirt legs oh I also found a power moon power moon in my search but you can have it yeah how are you gonna get down from here good morning captain toad which kingdom do you think I should visit next well I'm sure you're gonna be in every kingdom that I can think of regardless, so... So, and since Mario is kinda like the silent protagonist, we kinda, kinda, kinda have to leave it as is and let you do your thing. And I'm gonna grab the T-Rex again, and... go, <laughs> Rampage! Yes! Yes! Over here is a couple of break bulls. Oh, maybe I. Oh, maybe I can't reach these with the uh, T-Rex. Hmm. I thought I could though. Well, how did I break these before? Maybe I did never did break these before. Well, well. And anyway, I'm gonna go down here because obviously there's a hat door in. Yes, a hat door means that there's got to be something to collect in there. Just just how things seem to roll in this game. Uh, take a look-see around here before you actually jump the gun on anything, by the way. Because you might want to might wanna pay attention to potential secrets. Got it? Good. So there's a Koopa. And hit that Koopa. And you kick that Koopa. <laughs> Who would have guessed that this would be in a side-scrolling Mario? It's magical. And now uh, you can go all the way down or all the way up. But you probably don't want to go all the way down. <laughs> Instead, you want to go all the way up and skip the screen pipe. Because you might have seen when I pointed it out from a distance that this camera can go a little bit higher. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Yes! Also, uh, if you'd like to, you can kind of take a peek -see around up there too, but eh, eh. Anyway, if you jump, if you go through the other way, you'll just end up pooping down over there anyway, by the way. I just want to kind of show you both paths in a, <laughs> in a way, just just for the heck of it. See, so if you go like over here and you just go bloop, yeah, same way. But anyway, now we're going to go up and around. Careful. To go quick enough, and you'll also see if there is a uh, certain something down there, which you might have been able to see from the other side as well. But how the poop do you reach that? Well, this time you go down. And you wait, and you wait. Oh wait, maybe it's not this one. Dang it! <laughs> it wasn't the other one, I knew that for sure, but I definitely need to get over to that secret area there. I just want to take a peek see around and see if there's... Yeah, there's that moon over there, but that's not... Oh, it's up there! Okay, okay, so that wasn't... You don't go down at all! <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. We have all day. 
I'm gonna get on. There we go. Gotta get on there early, and then ah, poopers. <laughs> ah, poopers, indeed. Come on, hold that Y button and run, run, run! I say. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't get it the last time, but there we go. So now you go around there. Get these four purple coins. Go down to here, which poops us over by this moon. We're not leaving just yet. Plat past the chasm lifts, and uh, wait a second. Is this just gonna take me back to? Yes, it is. Oh, okay. So wait, how did I? How did I get to that moon down there before? Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure this just le this leads me to the exit. Like actually poops me out the door. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to take another peek see around from this side here. Uh, well, maybe. Mm, I don't know. Hmm, hmm, I'm gonna have to look like below those moving platform thingies really quick. Hmm, hmm, because yeah, I didn't really see anything else other than that. Oh, I see why, oh, I see why I didn't do the jumps before. I didn't have my forward momentum with the jumps. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, it's Mario 1 physics, so you gotta, gotta build up some speed and whatnot to actually get yourself going. Yeah, okay. Now I'm gonna... Wait, do you just like, really? Oh, you really do just jump down here. Oh, well that's actually a lot simpler than... <laughs> anyway, I need that Koopa. So we're just gonna kinda... Yeah, we're just gonna... Let's walk it over there, you know, just just have a little fun with it. Just just because... Oh shoot, well... That'll, that, uh, that'll be fine. <laughs> and then we go through here... And we watch out for the shell, because it's still coming after us. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the moon, the hidden chasm passage. Now, I don't think there's anything else over through here. Just kind of go back over to the other side and... Oh, that's ceiling, of course. That's why I need the Koopa shell to begin with. Now, if you go up through here, and you get pooped up through here, and if you want to speed things along, you just jump off this ledge and suicide yourself back to the entrance. Because <laughs> why not? Doesn't... Oh, no, no, that, that... Oh, wait, oh, okay, I thought that there wasn't a... Oh, okay, woo! I thought there... Oh, wait, hold on a sec, before I... Before I go back through there, uh, I see there's a platform thing up here. Ah, yes! But yeah, I thought that there wasn't a, a door there when I came through there before for some reason. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Jump the gun. Okay. Now... Now, there's a peach. Down over here, there's a helix fossil. There's a couple Goombas, and also, I don't believe I did this before. Uh, I wanna go and grab this. And put this up, oh, put this chomp in the slot. No, 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 bad, bad, bad. Put this chomp in the slot, and you get coins. Yes! Yes! Those light bonuses make me excited, I guess. <laughs> um, now there is. Well, there's obviously this team of critters, but there is another timer challenge up over at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and flop up there really quick. Actually, why am I doing this? Why am I... <laughs> I don't have to do this. I don't have to do this at all. I can just go... There we go. <laughs> and, by the way, this is where I thought you could jump down the Captain Toad. Uh, well, maybe it, maybe it wasn't there. Uh, I'll look around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Oh, there's another ledge. Yeah, there's Captain Toad on that ledge. Okay, so that other side was the one that I thought I could jump down to uh, as an alternative way to get the Captain Toad. Yeah, over here by another one of those mysterious metal blocks. Right there. Yeah. Anyway, we got Captain Toad a different, fancier way anyway. So, anyway, there's a signpost here now. I think this is like the tutorial for these. Travel tip, triple jump. I, yeah, I never taught this, did I? When you are running around a jump extra high, jump three times a good timing. Well, I have taught it in other walkthroughs, but it's just like such an instinctive thing in Mario platformers. I, I don't know, I just didn't really make much of it. If they're jumping consecutive series, they're gonna take your extra high! So hop, step, and jump in rhythm! And that's what you gotta do for this one, I, I think at least they're hinting at. So you go one, two, three! One, two, three! And victory! Woo! And that's number two for the timer challenge. Now that there's these 
newfangled platforms over here. We can go wander around this way as well. Long jump. Long jump. What are you doing? <laughs> well. Well. That would have worked if I would have timed it properly. <laughs> oh man, I put me back over here. Man. Man. By the way, you can also hit, knock these rocks around if you'd like to as well. But, well, you don't really get anything in particular from those particular ones. Anyway, let's go back over here and maybe we should do this more normally instead of long jumping. <laughs> there we go. Across the floating aisles. Knuckles' is hometown. And now, uh, you may have also seen as we went across things before, was there was a... Uh, well, I don't know which side it was on. I just want to get to it somehow, some way. And, hmm. By the way, obviously you do not take fall damage in this game. <laughs> Where is... There it is! There it is! See these? Yeah, you can go up and across like so, and get these purple coins. Heck yeah! Now, I wanted to do... Another... Was that there before? I don't think that was there before. <laughs> I was gonna go over to another hat area with a... Uh, well, I don't want to spoil it, but... <laughs> you'll see when we get there. But yeah, there's this on top of the rubble here. But yeah, I don't... Was I don't think that was there before. It just... Because I'm sure I passed through here before. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Especially since I got those down there. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna look for another door thingy. And I do believe that door thingy is up over... Well, not up over. It is uh, behind the breakable wall thingy. Remember I said I couldn't get up there to that moon all that easy before? Well, there's actually a simple-ish way to get over to there. And it also involves some extra moons and stuff like that. And it, of course, is gonna require the dino, since you've seen that there are those signature breakable blocks down there. So, hello there. How's it going? <laughs> Woohoo! Go, my slippery controlled friend! <laughs> and just go ahead and break these. There we go, and this pipe will be right over here for your benefit to poop yourself up over here and get yourself this moon. You can also get a checkpoint up here. Uh, there's also a couple of purple coins, the last purple coins in the area. Yeah, baby! <laughs> uh, I don't wanna, that's the other door that I'm going to go over to here. I thought that the door came first before the pipe, but top of the big stump is a very, very descriptive title for a checkpoint and here oh man this does not look good we've even got the deadly underground music remixed for the 3,000th time which means you know it's serious <laughs> so you got a lot of critters unfortunately though we've got to kill all those critters I'm sorry little critters 100% completion is upon us and to do so, we've got to take you all out, so I'm just going to kind of barrel through everyone. <laughs> Sorry guys, at least I'm going to barrel through everything for the most part. I mean, yeah, you got to kill everything, everyone. <laughs> we also probably break apart a bunch of stuff too. There's a secret moon down the left side cliff, uh, but that's not the main moon of the area. I'm just going to... Oh, I think I missed some up there. I'm going to have to refresh my T-Rex probably fairly soon. Otherwise, I'm going to lose my uh, T-Rexing powers, but eh, I don't know, it doesn't, doesn't hurt me to just keep rampaging and then just recollecting the T-Rex, I suppose. Oh, jeez, don't, don't get too, don't get too excited and go off the cliff there, just, 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 yeah, we're not, we're not ready for that. <laughs> we're just going to rampage back up here, kill off these remaining couple, there we go, and get a moon for our troubles. Don't bounce, please, that could be devastating. Because if I don't see where I'm landing. Alright. Dinosaur Nest, the big cleanup. We have cleared out all the dinos. Invasion. It must be sleeping and they all came in. It was just a disaster. Now we're gonna look carefully over the edge here to see if we don't fall to our doom into the abyss. 
because there is another thing that we need our dinosaur friend to take care of and that is involving demolishing these here of course it would be the last one that I would pick of course and that tease of a moon ran away from me maybe he's scared of my dinosaur form who knows all I know is I got that moon and I ran wild getting it to boots uh, I don't really think that I'm gonna collect anything more this part I think hmm I don't like I don't know if I can get anything more at this moment in time I mean it, it's, it's okay if I don't because I'm gonna have to come back here later um, if you've never seen before, um, if you press Y on this, you can actually see the Power Moon list for the area, and yeah, and remember I said that there was a whole bunch of, uh, there was a whole bunch of stuff back at the Sand Kingdom that I still didn't get? Check it out. <laughs> it's as many moons as I got, there's still many many more moons so anyway i guess i think i'm gonna head over to the hat kingdom in the next parts so i hope you enjoy and i will see you then